so I'm really happy to to have a word with you. This is uh, the director of the Metz Music Festival, Benato uh, Polter. Yeah, and uh, this is not the first time I visit this festival and I see a lot of changes this year and you are a new artistic director of the festival and it used to be subtitled festival for actual music if I remember correctly and now the subtitle is different it's a festival for time issues so maybe you could tell something why did you choose uh, this subtitle yeah I mean <clears throat> there's several reasons for that uh, time issues in German Zeitfragen um, has two mean basic meanings for me, which are both uh, important. The one is uh, questions of our time. That means pertinent questions, important questions. I like I like to see contemporary music practices in front of a of a larger background of society, politics, uh, practices, uh, the way we produce art uh, today. And the second meaning of the word is is really like more precise about time. Uh, time regimes, time structures, the way we uh, make use of our time, our relation to time. And this is a core question that the festival will pursue in the time to come. Um, it is a question, I believe, that is uh, very important and that will also um, become more and more the center of a, um, of a struggle mm -hmm. uh, that is about the way we live, the way we work, and the way we produce. So mm -hmm. this is the questions that uh, the festival will uh, pursue in the next, um, yeah. Several years? Let's see, absolutely, uh -huh. yeah. Also, there's a, it, I find it interesting to see festivals also not only you know, as a, a subject to the logic of the event, something that you make once a topic that you propose once and then uh, once the festival is over you have to move on to the next but to introduce a perspective a continuation a sort of um, pursuit mm -hmm. of uh, of a work uh, yeah i think the festival is a, can be an interesting vehicle for for pursuing questions mm. and time is probably one of the most important aspects of music and despite that, the festival, I would say, is not a merely music festival now. Uh, it's just uh, like a forum, uh, along with a conference and workshops. Did the festival drop its aim to be a per uh, precisely music festival? Not at all. Uh, it's still, um, you know, I think listening is still the central focus of the festival, for sure. It's a, it is a festival that is planned, thought from the perspective of music, of listening, of other sound-related arts. But um, it's also clear that uh, in trying to investigate, to go deeper into the phenomenon of time, um, it is uh, very important to um, see this in a bigger, in a bigger context. Time is um, appearing in a very uh, diverse way in uh, in our lives. I think music uh, is certainly one of the media where time itself is being structured, modeled, um, and this uh, space of experience of time, of artistic time, of proper time, of, of, of the arts, um, this is certainly the core of the festival. But there's another space for me that is uh, um, as important uh, and uh, Complementary, mm -hmm. it's a space of reflection, and uh, I therefore um, developed this format called Thinking Together, which is an um, informal situation of um, yeah, the title says it all. Thinking mm -hmm. together, of exchanging thoughts, of uh, um, concretely in the form of informal seminars, workshops, reading groups, work groups, and so on, and. Um, this is for me the complementary space of reflection that is uh, relating in very diverse and complex ways to this space of experience. It is a contemporary music festival, um, but it 
happens, it takes place, it relates to a larger context, a larger mm -hmm. question, a larger uh, space. So with a larger context, the, could we say it's an addition to the listening experience and investigations into listening, right? That's one possibility. I mean, uh, I think that um, what uh, happens in the di in the discourse uh, project certainly informs the way we we listen. We also invited many of the artists uh, who are in the festival to take part in thinking together. There are talks with the musicians, composers, performers from the festival about time in music and time as music, the way they use relate to time in their own work. But uh, time is for me most of all a political notion. Mm -hmm. So and, and that means that time is um, decisive for, as I said, b the way we work, the way we live, the way we produce. And this touches also upon um, the artistic time. I think there's an interesting tension between the time regime we live in today, which is mainly um, focused on productivity, efficiency, which is strongly coined by uh, acceleration and a kind of a time poverty on the one hand and the, the proper time of the arts, which is a time experience, lived time, that is not, cannot be sped up, that is, cannot be obje objectified, cannot be reduced, um, that is a subjective time of the living of, of, and lived time. And this tension between these two notions of time is, I think, um, what the festival uh, revolves around. Um, and um, therefore, yes, time of music and of, of the arts um, experienced and looked at in front of the background mm -hmm. of a time um, practice, I think, that is making many people sick, uh, that is uh, uh, putting a lot of strain, a lot of pressure on the members of our um, Western societies. Mm -hmm. Would you say that thinking about time, contemplative time, changes uh, the ways we listen, the perception of listening, the listening experience? I think absolutely, I think it can do that. Um, for me it's also okay if there's just um, people going to concerts, you know. I don't want to impose this question every single minute of the festival and of the listening and uh, art artistic experience of the festival. but. This slight change in the angle of looking at uh, time and temporality, I think, can have an impact on how you listen, how you, how you experience time. Mm -hmm. And for a focus of this year's festival, uh, Greek composer Georges Aperis, I'm not sure if I pronounced correctly. Georges Aperis, yeah. Uh -huh. he, he chose, and does his music relate to what we analyze as musical time? How does the idea of time emerge from his composition? Yeah, I mean, I think it, um, every composer works con very deliberately and consciously with time because the core question um, of structuring um, music is how to deal with time. And by structuring music, uh, time itself is being um, structured. Mm -hmm. It's being condensed, stretched out, and so on. So, but besides, I mean, Georges Bergis, um has many layers in his work. Um, he is uh, prolific in writing instrumental pieces, some of which we will present in the festival, but he also has a long history in staging and producing his own music theater. Um, you know, uh, the question of, of time and temporality, <coughs> I don't want to become a, a corset or a, a mm -hmm. constraint for the festival. So um, there are multiple um, relations to uh, temporality in Apergi's work, but it's not ex it's not like illustrating or or explicit to the extent that you would say uh, Georges Apergi's work stands for or is uh, explicit about explicitly about time and temporality. But in other, on the other hand, the way he produces, the way he investigates the relation to the perform uh, to, to the performer to the instrument he's dealing with, the, the time he takes for um, um, unfolding pra his practice is, is very much inscribed in a way of working. So now again I would like to talk about maybe changes of the festival. I always had a feeling that the festival is a mean of 
representing music and it was getting uh, more and more outdated, the, the, even the form of the festival. And I myself organized a festival so I can sometimes feel that. And after seeing changes this year, I think it can be updated and improved. And would you say that the changes in the festival were made to make it more relevant to today's culture? Well, as for me, festivals are spaces of experience and of intensification. Mm -hmm. So I think it's not enough if a festival is representing whatever it is presenting, you know. It's mm -hmm. not, it is, uh, um, it should be more than the sum of its parts, a festival. And therefore, uh, to create intensity and, uh, and, and density, there are many possibilities to, to do so. And um, I don't know if this produces a more more revel relevance or anything, but what I'm interested in is to create um, intense experiences for everybody involved. Um, and these are experiences that are as much musical, perceptual as they are uh, bodily, um, social, um, uh, mental, intellectual, and all these layers and levels a festival as a public space can provide are interesting to me mm -hmm. as a festival maker. I think this a festival is an art project in itself, in my understanding. It's a composition uh, that mm, works with uh, um, compositions, uh, with uh, spaces, with time and with the flow of things and of people and of energies. And this is, um, this is my personal approach to, to the festival. If um, it turns out to become um, a uh, vibrant uh, body or an organism that lives, then my dream has come true. Uh, I don't know about relevance and all this, but it's that's the that's the mm. goal. Uh, and it used to be a festival splashed like all over Berlin. I remember with the radio system, Berghain, Philharmonic, and other places. And now almost all the events are held at the festival's home. I'd say Berliner Festspiele. And uh, what the reason to concentrate the festival in, the, in one place? Well, it's only partly true because, um, yes, the first five days of the festival were very much focused on the house. Here, the House of Berliner Festspiele, which is a house I like very much. Uh, I think it has an, a fantastically elegant and generous architecture from the mm -hmm. 1960s. Yeah, yeah, a place yeah. that you really feel comfortable in. But at the same time, we will also leave the house, you know, uh, and that's also very important for me. Uh, we will be in, the, yesterday we were in the liquid room, uh, in, the, in a spa, um, cupola space filled with warm salt water. We will go to uh, Neukölln, to the Heimathafen tonight. We are in the Philharmonie, we are in uh, ex rota print factory uh, on Friday. We are in Hau, um, uh, Hebel am Ufer Theater. We are, not least, in the very end, in the Kraftwerk Berlin, where one of the, I think, most uh, impressive and important projects will take place, the, the, called The Long Now. So, at the same time, it's true that I've, my goal is to fo create concentration and focus in the festival. So, um, what I don't find very interesting is a standard festival situation where the audience is put in the situation of running from place A to B um, to make it to the next concert, um, arriving there exhausted or stressed and then needing half of the concert to calm down. All these things that um, come with um, the idea of a festival as a quantity um, I want to avoid. So I've enjoyed very much to focus on, in the first five days, on this space. Um, people can hang out, they can go back to a concert. We have the possibility with this theater uh, machinery to create different spaces in a relatively short period of time. And I find this very comfortable. You know, a festival should not be a marathon. No, it should not be a tour de force uh, through um, a quantity of experiences. But I think it should be a, it should be a, a comfortable experience uh, should allow for flows and not for rushes. Mm -hmm. So my last question would be, uh, how do you see Merz music in the European context, other festivals and musical life or big cultural centers? Maybe other. Well, I mean, you know, Merz music has its own history. It's a, 
I think it's an important international festival for contemporary sound-related practices. And um, this, it uh, should stay. At the same time, I think it can also expand um, its reach and its scope in the direction of um, people who are interested to think about the current state of affairs in many ways. I think the goal of contemporary art in general should be to relate to uh, the problems of the of today and, of, and the problems of the future. Uh, I think festivals are public spaces. That means they are political spaces where people exchange, where, where community, society is, is happening in a nutshell. And um, so my vision for the festival for the, fu uh, for the future is to, to go beyond this, um, the, the pure dedication to, to contemporary music. Um, I think contemporary music offers many um, practices and um, concent a concentration that, is, that we can learn from a lot, if we are now considering ourselves to be specialists in this or not. Um, I think it's, everybody is welcome. I think it's great to have the specialist community, the big contemporary music communities of um, Berlin, but also of Europe here present. But it's also great to have people here who discover a new type of uh, musical experience. And I'm very much in favor of creating a diversity of audiences, um, of going against the idea that in order to perceive contemporary music, you have to be a specialist, that you have to be an expert, that you have to know specific things. All these um, prejudices that for partly for good reasons have grown in the last uh, 50 years or longer. Um, I think are, are a problem and partly a self-made problem. So, um, yes, this is an open space that deals with our lives today and contemporary music plays the decisive role in it, but it's not limited to that. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. It was really a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Yeah.